to another episode of Brian Knows Brews, the show where I drink and evaluate the wonderful nectar of the gods that is beer. This week on the program, we have from the world famous Lagunitas Brewing Company in Petaluma, California. This is the Lagunitas Cappuccino Stout, an ale brewed with coffee. This beer weighs in at 9.2% alcohol by volume. Once again, I think I've had this beer before, just casually, but never really gave some thought to it to review it, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Before I do that, though, let's quickly go over the scoring system used on Brino's Brews. Scoring for Brino's Brews is based loosely on the scoring system used by the Beer Judge Certification Program. In our system, a beer can earn a maximum of 10 points. One point can be awarded for appearance, two points for aroma, four points for flavor, one point for mouthfeel, and two points can be awarded for a beer's overall impression. And finally, partial points can be awarded in any category. So that's how scoring works, so let's crack open this cappuccino stout and see how great it is. I've got high hopes for this one. Nice little bit of hiss there. So now let's get started. First, we've got one point for the appearance of the beer, how it looks and the head and all the wonderful visual goodness of the beer. So here we go, one point. In the glass it goes. Can't see. Let's see if I can't feel the little head, but not too much of one. I think I was a little too careful with the head there, but it's starting to develop. It's starting to develop. Hold up against this light. Can I see through it? No, I cannot. Hold up against this brighter light right here. Can I see my finger through it? I don't feel like I can, but just barely, slightly. The head looks very, very nice and uh, mildly caramely. Color is fascinating, very, very perfect. A little bit see-through, but you know what? That's okay. Nothing really to go against this uh, cappuccino stout so far. It looks fine. So you know what? I'm going to give it the full point for the appearance. Good start for this cappuccino stout. Let's go on to our second category, which is the aroma. The head has died down a little bit on this. I'm going to top it off a little bit to... Some more carbonation going. There we go. That'll do the job. There we go. Let's give it a smell real quick. Ooh, got some good malty notes there. Getting a little bit of a hint of the coffee there. Not too much though, but it's there and you know it's there. The coffeeness is extremely mild, which is Probably a good thing from the smell, but I'm getting lots of the malty notes from this. No hops to speak of, which is probably a good thing for a stout like this. And I think I'm getting the proper roastiness of the malt. Let me get another smell there. Yep, definitely roastiness. That's what you want from a stout. So it looks good, and in my opinion, it smells very, very good too. Very appropriate. So, once again, two points for aroma out of a possible two. And now here comes the big one, four points for the flavor. If this is like any of their other beers, I'm expecting good things. Although I've mainly had some of their hoppier beers, and maybe IPAs are starting to wear on me, but this is not an IPA, it's a stout, so this should be good. Enough of my rambling, four points for flavor for Lagunitas Cappuccino Stout. Here we go. Not getting too much of the coffee, though. Either, either, either I'm not getting much of the coffee, or it's just the amount of uh, coffee flavor that I would expect from a regular stout with the um, roastiness of the malt. The maltiness is nice, though. I'm not getting much of the coffee flavor. Maybe there's just too much malt of this, and maybe there's maybe the body is just too high. Maybe the alcoholiness is kind of taking away from whatever coffee flavors there might be. I'm not getting a burst of coffee that I would expect from a cappuccino stout. 
I don't know, getting enough coffee and flavor from what I would get, expect from a normal stout. It's, but again, it's advertising itself as a cappuccino stout, so I'd expect a little more maybe creaminess, a little more uh, coffee flavor than what I'm getting here. What I'm getting here is just the amount of uh, coffee flavor that I would expect from a normal stout. It's very, very good, but I was expecting a little bit more coffee flavor from something that's called a cappuccino stout. So with that in mind, I'm not going to give it a perfect four for flavor, but there's nothing else bad about it at all. It's on point for a stout, for a very heavy, heavy stout. So it's not going to get four points, but it definitely deserves a 3.5. Almost home, 1.4 mouthfeel. Let's see how it feels in the mouth. I felt a lot of alcoholiness during the taste. It's got a lot, a lot of body to it. Let's just analyze that by itself. One point's on the line. Here we go. Body is definitely there. Like I said before, I tasted a lot of the alcoholiness. It says it was a 9.5% alcohol by volume beer, so it definitely feels like that. But there's also enough malt and uh, other stuff going on inside the beer to sort of offset that. So you're not tasting a pure burn from an alcoholic product. The carbonation, I think, is definitely appropriate for a stout. You're not expecting really, really high carbonation from something like this. But let me get one more try. I don't know what that is in the background. I don't know if that's the roastiness of the malt or if it's alcohol. I don't think it actually I don't think it is alcohol. I think it's more uh, more bitterness. It's it's some sort of a bitter aftertaste. I'm not sure what it is though. Well, maybe it's part of the flavor. If I was unsure about giving it a four before, I'm sure about it now. It does not deserve a four for flavor. 3.5 is highly appropriate. But wait a minute, you know what? I'm getting a weird, weird aftertaste afterwards. I'm getting a weird, not very pleasant aftertaste afterwards. You know what? I'm going to go back and change my score and dock a quarter point for that. Instead of 3.5, it gets 3.25 points for flavor. But for mouthfeel, it feels fine. The carbonation is just right. And the body is just right. It's appropriate for an imperial stout like this. So for that, I give it one out of one. And now for the overall impression. It's definitely good. Very, very good. Very dark, very malty. It's got the good stuff about it. But again, comparing it to what it's supposed to be advertised as a cappuccino stout, I think it falls a little bit short in that regard. I mean, cappuccinos is just espresso plus a lot of milk and such. I would expect maybe, maybe a little bit more of a milky flavor to it. Like maybe they put more lactose, a little more lactose in here. We would get that creamy thing that you get from a cappuccino. Or maybe something that's actually with real coffee in there, or maybe just up the coffee flavor on it a little bit more. It's still very, very good, very, very tasty, though. It's definitely a beer that you need to get. It's limited release. It's not for no reason. It's just not a beer that I would get religiously. It's not something I would just, I would get it once a season, and maybe that's it. But if you really want something that tastes like cappuccino, and really, really want that, I don't think this is the beer for you. So out of two points for the overall impression, I'm going to give this 1.5. I think that's fair. I've just now done the math, and out of a possible 10 points, the cappuccino stuff from the Lagunitas Brewing Company gets 8.75 points out of 10. I think that's a very, very fair score. What did this beer in is I don't think it was appropriately flavored. I think it needed more of a... More, just more of a coffee flavor, maybe a little bit more of a milky flavor. It's also making me wonder if this version as a nitro style would be even better. Just a little bit more of a delicate feel to it. Maybe that would give it the cappuccino flavor in the essence that this needs to be. Well, that will do it for another episode of Brino's Brews here on Brino's World. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've got any ideas for beers that I should try on the show, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a good one.